Hello students, welcome to class PM. In today's class, we are going to discuss about Beer Lambert's law. This Beer Lambert's law is one important theory that part of the spectroscopy. And today's class, we will discuss about what is Beer Lambert's law. So, in the spectroscopy, we have studied that when the different samples are kept under spectrophotometer, what happens? It absorbs radiation sent, which is passing through the sample and the remaining radiation is transmitted through the sample that what we have learned. So, many compounds will absorb the radiation, UV visible radiation. Now, here we will see that the B Lambert's law what it says for example, I naught is the intensity of incident radiation which is passing through a sample which we call it as uh, absorbing media. So, this is a absorbing media present in a cuvette. Cuvette is a glass a vessel you can say that. So, it is a glass vessel in the different shape it will be there. We will discuss what are those cuvette. So, cuvette is a simple uh, glass vessel which holds the sample. So, a cuvette with whose uh, width is x centimeter is having some sample. Now, we are sending a UV or visible or both range of UV visible range of radiation through this sample. So, when we are sending the incident light radiation is I naught and some of the uh, radiation is absorbed by the sample and remaining radiation is transmitted through the sample and its wavelength is ok. Then with this aspect, with this keep in this mind, there is a sample in the cuvette whose width is x centimeter and there is a radiation with I naught intensity intensity is passing through the sample absorbing medium and some of the radiation is absorbed by the sample and the remaining radiation which is transmitted through the sample which is, which intensity is it. Now, with this we will try to define what is Beer's law. So, first we will define what is Lambert's law when a ray of monochromatic radiation monochromatic means single wavelength monochromatic radiation is passing through a absorbing medium intensity of radiation decreases exponentially as as path length of absorbing medium increases. So, here the relation between the path length of this absorbing medium, you can also call thickness of the absorbing medium and the intensity of the radiation. So, the path length keep on increasing what the Lambert's law says is as the path length, path length means this width, as the path length or the thickness of the absorbing medium increases, what happens? Intensity of the radiation decreases. Intensity of this I naught value keep on decreases as this value increases. That is the Lambert's law say when a ray of monochromatic radiation is passing through absorbing medium, passing through absorbing medium, intensity of radiation decreases, intensity of this I naught value decreases exponentially very rapidly as path length of the absorbing medium increases, as the path length of absorbing medium increases. So, they are inversely related. So, we will write a mathematical equation for this definition. So, this way we can write and small changes also you can make for it send minus dot side d i i this side is equal to minus k d x. So, I will define what are this i is intensity of radiation x is path length or thickness anything you can say that path length or thickness of absorbing medium and k is absorbing coefficient 
it is a constant so this k value is fixed it is a constant for a, each absorbing medium at a given wavelength it is having a fixed value okay so that is called k absorb it's a absorbing coefficient it is a constant for every absorbing medium or every compound there is a fixed absorbing coefficient value will be there that is a k here and this negative sign indicates that as intensity of radiation decreases as x value increases so intensity is decreasing that is here minus symbol indicates the decrease reduction in the intensity of incident radiation so that will it will indicate the negative sign okay so let integrate this value so we will integrate this one between i is equal to i not which is the intensity of incident radiation i is equal to it it is the intensity of transmitted radiation transmitted radiation so we will integrate this one between this i not to i so let's integrate it what we get so i'm directly taking the value i t by i not is equal to minus k i so take the anti log for this what we get i t by i not is equal to e to the power of minus k i so if you send i not that side we will get i t is equal to i not into e to the power of minus k i or this one also we can use so this is a way we can find the the intensity of the transmitter radiation so all the spectrophotometers will measure this value it value it will measure means i note value is already there it will compare the graph we will get in the spectrum is the difference between i note and it i note value we already know because it is already with the spectrophotometer and it value is measured by using this formula so that we can compare the difference between i not and it so that we can calculate how much absorption took place per the particular sample so this is the lambert's law so lambert's law exhibits the relation between what the path length or thickness of the sample medium and uh, intensity of incident radiation next we will see the beard's law so we have seen the lambert's law so now we will see the beard's law at beard's law is the simple terms if you want to tell the beard's law states that the concentration of a sample chemical substance the concentration of chemical substance is directly proportional to the decrease of intensity which means the more concentration more decrease less concentration less decrease in the incident radiation so the lambert's law exhibit the relationship between thickness of the medium sample medium or absorbing medium and intensity of incident radiation as thickness increases intensity of incident radiation decreases now the beard's law exhibits the relationship between the concentration of absorbing medium and the decrease in the intensity of incident radiation okay so if the concentration more increases as concentration keep on increases what happens intensity decrease in the incident radiation also more okay less concentration less decrease more concentration more decrease if we combine these two laws that is lambert's law and the beard's law we will get beard lambert's law now we'll see the definition of beard lambert's law so this is the beard's lambert's law on passing through a solution rate of decrease of intensity of a incident monochromatic radiation with path length of the solution is proportional to the intensity of incident light and concentration of the solution it is a combination of beer lambert's law so instead of saying all these things you can say that the beer lambert's law says that the decrease of intensity in the incident radiation it depends on the one is path length or thickness of the absorbing medium other one is the concentration of the absorbing medium okay here the concentration increases what happens absorption also increases if concentration decreases absorption also decreases as path length in increasing the intensity more decreasing if path length is decreasing intensity decrease will be less so this is the beer lambert's law now we will see the combined mathematical equation for the beer lambert's law so it says that here c is the molar concentration of the solution 
here C is molar concentration or you can say that it is a molar concentration of absorbing medium. So, here K it is molar absorption coefficient. So, same way integrate between I naught to I t which is the intensity of incident radiation and intensity of transmitted radiation. So, I am writing the direct value. So, if you take the anti log send I naught to that side. So, we will get I t that intensity of transmitted incident radiation is I t is equal to I naught into e to the power of minus k I c. So, we will convert into the log to the base 10 into the power of minus k i c by 2.303. So, here minus k by 2.303 we will take it as a. So, what is a? Here a is molar absorptivity or you can say molar extension coefficient. It is molar extension coefficient. So, like epsilon molar extension coefficient or you can say that it is molar absorptivity. So, here the a is molar absorptivity or you can call it as molar extension coefficient also the a value. So, there if you substitute that value what we get i t is equal to i naught into 10 to the power of a i c. So, here we will take this k f 1 by 2.303 as epsilon. Here we are considering the concentration also that is why instead of calling extension coefficient we have to call it as molar extension coefficient or you can call molar absorptivity. We can also call molar absorptivity or we can call molar extension coefficient. So, in the place of k by 2.3 naught is substitute epsilon. So, what we get? So, epsilon is molar absorptivity or molar extension coefficient and substitute here i t is equal to I naught into 10 to the power of epsilon I c minus. So, if I convert into logs I t by I naught is equal to epsilon I c. This one also I can write as log I naught by I t is equal to epsilon I c. If I take A is equal to log I naught by I t. So, in the place of I naught by I t substitute A. A is equal to I c. So, here A will indicate the absorbance or you can call it as absorbance or optical density also since it is a ratio of I naught by I t. So, it do not have any units. Uh, for molar extension coefficient you can use a liter per mole per centimeter, but for this there is no units means it is a ratio. So, is this A will indicate the, the amount of absorbance taking place for a particular uh, absorbing medium at a particular wavelength and this is a intrinsic property and it mostly depend only on the concentration and the path length actual absorbance is depending on the uh, path length and the concentration even though it is an intrinsic property. So, this way we can calculate the absorbance by using the B Lambert's law. So, the all the spectrophotometers which we are using to calculate the uh, analyze the various things will uh, there the B Lambert's law will be applied. How uh, this is the mathematical equation derivation here A is the absorbance or optical density we call it as and this will show the how much absorbance is taking place. Okay. Here we can use two way either you can use the absorbance or you can calculate the transmittance. So, what uh, B Lambert's law tells us there is a relation between absorbance and the concentration in the path length of the absorbing medium. So, here we can observe that this is the transmittance and absorbance values are given here. So, these values are transmittance 
and these values regarding absorbance. So this particular chart will give you information about the relation between transmittance and absorbance. What is transmittance? Transmittance is the, the amount of radiation absorbed by an absorbing media is called its transmutation. So it is a measure of the amount of radiation absorbed by a absorbing media is called transmittance. Generally, so we can say that simply intensity of incident radiation to that of transmitted radiation. So for example, I not radiation is incidenting on the sample, I T radiation is coming out from the sample which is transmitting through the sample. So some of the radiation is absorbed. So this shows the relation between I not and I T. You know the I not and you know the I T. So I not minus I T you will get how much is absorbed. So that relation source uh, can be represented here. So here if you see that generally the transmittance uh, measured like transmittance T is equal to I T by I not. This is a transmittance. I not is the radiation of incident light, intensity of incident radiation and the T is intensity of transmitter radiation. So I not is incident on the sample, some of it as absorbed and the remaining is transmitted through the sample which is I T. So the relation between these two is shown as transmittance. So what the spectrophotometer measures is transmittance or absorbance. If it is absorbance, we will calculate is I naught by I T. If it is a transmittance, we will show it as I T by I naught. So we will generally explain in the percentages that is T percent percent transmittance. We will show with the percentages. Now here you can see that from this if you observe this chart, if the total incident light is absorbed, the total incident light is absorbed by the absorbing media, then the transmittance is 0 percent. Okay, The transmittance is 0. If the absorbing is 0, the, nothing is absorbed by the absorbing media. In that case, what happens? The transmittance is 100 percent and what about absorbance? Absorbance is 0. So, if total is absorbed, in that case what absorbance is infinity and the transmittance is 0. You can see the relation. When transmittance is 0, absorbance you have a value which is equal to 1. And if transmittance is up 100 percent, then absorbance is 0. So this chart shows the relationship between transmittance and absorbance. So the all the spectrophotometers they will measure the absorbance either in terms of absorbance or in the terms of transmittance. So the transmittance and absorbance relation is this term. If completely absorbed, if completely absorbed, then in that case the transmittance is 0 and absorbance is infinite. This is the first condition and the second condition no absorption. If no absorption, then transmittance is 100 percent and absorption is 0. So this is the way you can draw the relationship between absorbance and the transmittance. So if we plot the graph for the concentration and the absorbance. So concentration and absorbance. So we will get a straight line which is passing through the origin. but this B Lambert's law does not apply at the higher concentration compounds. If high concentration, you will get a deviation here. Okay. So up to certain concentration, this is applicable. You will get a straight line. This is uh, graph against absorption and concentration. So when you plot the graph absorbance against the concentration, we will get a straight line which is passing through the origin. So, as which what it shows as absorb concentration is increasing, what is happening? Absorbance also increasing. So, this law is applicable up to certain level. At higher concentration, there will be a deviation. So, why that deviation we will study in the later topics and now try to understand what is the B Lambert's law and how it explains the absorbance and the transmittance. So, in the next class, we will continue with the spectrometer.